Tuesday, September 3rd, 2019. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals with your update on Dorian and some other systems now in the Atlantic. First of all, the overview on Dorian, it will begin moving to the northwest, then north, and then rapidly to the northeast, eventually reaching Newfoundland and Nova Scotia. But there are some other systems right in the middle of the picture, that small orange X, a disturbance south of Bermuda, heading toward Bermuda. The right side of the picture, a strong disturbance west of the Cape Verde Islands. And then on the left side of the picture, tropical depression number seven. That could become the next name storm. All of this is not unusual in the peak of hurricane season. Go back in history, the last week and a half watching Dorian form in the Atlantic, moving into the Caribbean as a tropical storm, then becoming a hurricane in the Atlantic, and then a powerful Category 5 hurricane, slowly moving through the northern Bahamas, still there, and you can see it as of the early morning satellite. Color enhanced to show you where the brightest or tallest clouds are. That gives you an idea of how strong the storm is. Overall, it is not as powerful, as intensely powerful as it was, but it is still just about to begin to exit the Bahamas. Here are just a handful of computer model projections. The forecast point going in the future, you'll notice some have a two, some have a three, that's the category. Some have a one, but what they all have in common is the track projection now is generally offshore until it gets close to the Carolinas. The National Hurricane Center forecast, same scenario. You see the three, you see the two, that indicates the category. But remember, those little circles are within a forecast cone and the forecast cone shows you the possibilities now remember it could end up taking a much more westward track meaning it could go inland into the carolinas it could still literally touch the coasts of florida either way storm surge is going to be an issue the core of the storm the hurricane force winds are in a fairly small radius so many parts of florida georgia you may not feel the hurricane force winds but you will feel that water being pushed ashore as storm surge now, here's just one model projection going from now through Wednesday through Thursday, where you see the bright purple. That would be the core of the strongest storms, Hurricane Force Wind, a track very similar to that of Hurricane Matthew just a few years ago. But do notice this one particular model does take it to the coastline of South Carolina and North Carolina, still likely as a hurricane. These are just projections. You've got to follow your local forecast to know what's going on. I can't give the details for every location and there will be changes there will be updates and what dorian is doing don't be surprised as i mentioned to hear the name of another tropical storm today tomorrow and then another one later in the week i'm meteorologist alan seals